What is up? And welcome back to Beyond the Arc with Brandon Silvers. As always, I am your host, Brandon Silvers. All right, there are leaves on the ground. The temperature has a slight chill to it as much as global warming will allow. And there's pumpkin spice on the menu, which means it is fall and fall means playoff baseball. So we got to talk about that and also look back at the season that was and what better person to have talk about that with me than Brett Gosnell. Brett, what is going on? How are we doing? Very, very excited for this. Yes, yes. Because not only are we going to talk about baseball, but we're debuting a new game on Beyond the Arc with Brandon Silver's Fair or Foul. You know it's important because I'm holding note cards. Oh, I didn't know about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So, Brett, are you ready to play in the first ever Beyond the Arc with Brandon Silver's game of Fair or Foul? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so first, the rules. I will give you a subject, a statement. Some might call it if they were an English teacher. I will say fair or foul. If you agree with the statement, you will say fair and you will tell us why. If you do not agree, you will say foul and tell us why you don't agree. Then as the segment widens down, I will ask you if the bases are clear. That means, have you gotten everything off your chest? <laughs> okay, I like That's it. It's something I just made up because Love I'm it. a sports media genius. <laughs> so let's, let's get into it. All right. This will be our final topic. Fair or foul, the World Series champion will come out of the National League. Fair. It's it's very close. So I guess I'll use this opportunity to get into kind of the playoff preview. Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So we talked about the, the Rays and the Orioles. Uh, Orioles have 100-plus wins. I think they just got to 100. So they're obviously good. But just the, the roster is entirely unproven. Rays – they're right behind them. They've got a ton of injuries. And then the Rangers, who we mentioned also, they're very good, spend a lot of money. Um, they're going to be very fun to watch. I would advocate watching the Rangers. Danny Foxworth's team. Yep. Uh, they're, they're probably going to be the funnest team to watch because they've got a lineup of just – Big ass home run hitting dudes. Everybody in that lineup is just a huge muscle bound ass dude that hits home runs. Yes, I like <laughs> Adolis Garcia. Yeah, is just a popping giant out of his jersey of a man. I, I, it is wild, and I feel like he gets a home run every day. Yeah, and Corey Seager's on that Seager. team, former Dodger, World Series MVP, the World Series that we won. Um, and their bullpen sucks. So, like, no lead's going to be safe either. So, they're always going to be an exciting team to watch. But the AL, on that note, the AL's just wide wide open. I don't know who's going to come out of there. I don't know how good the team's going to be that does come out of there. The NL, it's got – where whereas the AL, you know, it's these – small market teams and then the Rangers who usually aren't good but spend a lot of money. It's the underdog stories are going on kind of in the AL. In the NL, it's the cream of the crop. Dodgers, Braves, Phillies are the best teams. We're used to them being good. The Phillies were in the World Series last year. The Braves won the World Series the year before. Then the Dodgers won it the year before that. Um, the Braves are just a juggernaut. Uh, that – one of the best lineups in the history of baseball. Like, there's no question about it. They're pitching. They've got one front line starter and Spencer Strider. Max Fried and Charlie Morton, if they were healthy, would be great elite two and three options, but we'll see if they're healthy. The Dodgers have kind of taken a step back because we were saving up money this offseason so we could spend next year and get Shohei, which I hope works out. 
but we're we still won a hundred games. We're still elite. And then the Phillies, they started the year off terrible, but they've still got Bryce Harper, Trey Turner. They've spent a shitload of money. They've got a lot of superstars. They've played very well as of late. So you're truly on paper elite teams are in the NL. No question about it. So yes, that's that would be the best guess is that the NL is going to have the World Series champion. And it it is it's 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 weird to me that what was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought because I was thinking about Adolis Garcia, honestly, in a uniform. <laughs> and it is uh, okay. That's what I was going to say. So pitching seems to be a pretty big deal in baseball. Yeah. And is there any team that has like okay, we've got good starters and a good bullpen? Because it seems like it's I don't just think. good luck. No. So yeah, looking at like I, I mentioned what the Braves situation is. They may not even have their two and three guys healthy. The Dodgers, it's just been a fucking disaster with yes. starting pitching. Um Julio Arias, who I thought was going to be a, the Cy Young winner, he pitches like shit all year and then does a domestic violence. And Good Lord. <laughs> he, get, he gets into the wrong kind of fight, and he's off the team now. And then Kershaw, he still had a good year, but he's always hurt at this point, so he's you can't rely on him. Our best pitchers are – prospects that we've been forced to bring up earlier than we wanted. Um, and they're good. I'm very excited to watch them, but, you know, we did not expect these guys to be healthy. Walker Bueller was hopefully going to be our ace. You know, he blew, he blew his arm out last year. So it's just been a absolute shit show for us in terms of pitching. And then the Rangers, going back to them, uh, they traded for Scherzer. He got hurt. He's out yeah. for the year. Um, and then the Orioles and the Rays, I barely even know who any of their pitchers are, to be honest with you. Um, so the the Rays – I'm glad we brought this up. So the, I, I was looking at their roster. The Rays have a guy – they have a relief pitcher. He hasn't started a single game all year, but he's won 12 games. That's like That's Larry the- Sherry type shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, the goat. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, they also have the most insane doppelganger of all time I've ever seen anywhere. Um, Killian Murphy, star of Oppenheimer. The Rays have Tyler Glass now. Have you seen him? No, I'm going to look him up now. Yeah, pull up that guy and tell me that's not Killian Murphy. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to steal pictures and post it. That's very yeah. Please good. please put that in here. That's the craziest shit I've ever seen. He it's just identical, and he I happens to be did, good at pitching. I, I almost did that earlier where I was looking at small photos of Jose Ramirez on my phone. Um, yeah, and I thought it was Juan Uribe for a second. I think she just got like yeah, a, like a like yeah. chubbyish kind of face. The round, like round face. Yeah. yeah. I was like, is that yeah. Uribe? And I was like, wait a second. Yeah. It's, it's Ramirez. So I hope he yeah. had, I hope he likes that com- comparison or I could be in a lot of trouble <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who was so, the uh, – so there was – when Jose Ramirez knocked out Tim Anderson and then when Runyet Odor hit Bautista – the shortstop was it Elvis Andrews? There was somebody that was no, he was he's there was some player on the that was on the field both times, like right. He he had a front row seat to both of those fights. And there's a theory that like he's just the biggest instigator in the world. That would be fantastic. Do, do you know whose team he was on for either? Well, it'd probably be easier to look up this year. Obviously. I mean, he would. He would have had to have been on the White Sox. That's he, right. No, I'm sorry. He would have had to have been on. Yeah, he would have had to have been on the White Sox if he was on the field. And then he would have had to have been on. Uh, who was Odor? Was Odor with uh, 
I think it was Bautista the Rangers. Was the Blue Jays. Yeah. That was the Rangers. That's right. So maybe it was Elvis Andrews was definitely the shortstop for the Rangers. Yeah. I think that's who it was. Let's see. But I don't know if he was with the White Sox. Let's see. Ramirez. Um, some quick Googling is part of our show as well. Uh, Elvis Andrews plays for the White Sox. Well, so he was, he might have been on base or some shit. So he wasn't like, he was got to he be probably got, an investigation. No, he would have been on the field. I'm sorry. He would have yeah, been on the field. That's right. Anderson was base, the, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, this, this man was the other middle infielder, both time, both of the greatest fights we've ever seen. This man was the partner middle infielder to the guy who threw the big punch. He's like the Mills Lane of baseball fights. Yeah. <laughs> that was the quickest boxing comp I could come up with. That was a good one. <laughs> um, all right. Have we cleared the bases for all baseball topics, or was there more you wanted to talk about? I think, I think I'm good. Man, what a fun show. Y'all are so lucky Very you have fun. ears and eyeballs. Man. <laughs> all right. Well, check – Brett out on Brett's Bets, where we do a lot of fun stuff there, too. Also, check out the Gamecocks football captain's log. The normal Beyond the Arc, which we're on right now. I just keep giving you content that's incredible. And you're welcome. So subscribe, rate, review, and share. We will catch you next week. <laughs>